Look, uh, Orlando shot almost 60% from the field in the first half, and you guys held them on a 30% shooting in the third quarter. What happened in the third quarter? Uh, just follow the game plan. Uh, our, defense, our defense is better, so that was it. This is the first time in team history you guys have 12, uh, trailed by 12 or more points at halftime and came back to win both of those games on back-to-back -back nights. What is it about this team? It doesn't matter if you're down, you're going to find a way to come out and, and get a victory. I mean, yeah, we just keep, got to fight, keep fighting and, you know, uh, trying to win every game possible. What happened there when, uh, I guess, the referees had you guys leave, had you leave the court? Were you in concussion protocol? No, no. I mean, he just said, I mean, I got ran to his knees, so, you know, uh, no concussion protocol. Oh, okay. They didn't check you for that. I mean, they checked, but it was all good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what do you attribute to this team's ability to keep coming back like this, especially coming off a difficult back to back from last night? I mean, yeah, I said this is a great and very tough win uh, for us. Uh, like I said, we got to just keep keep on fighting, keep playing defense, and you know it's going to lead a long way. Luca, you're you're averaging nearly 33 points per game on the road this season. Is there something different about you know playing on the road in a tough hostile environment versus playing at home? I mean, it's different. You know, uh, depends which team you play. You know, sometimes they double me. So other people are going to score, uh, sometimes they don't, so uh, it's barely the same. Obviously, I prefer playing home. And, and I appreciate you signing some autographs for the fans there. Pretty yeah, it's pretty cool. of course. Luca, when you look at some of the greats in the league today or greats in the past, there's usually a mentor or mentors in their corner, and you have a plethora of those, whether it's Coach Kidd, Mark, or Dirk. Can you just kind of talk about the role, what that's like, having someone like Dirk, for example, who's been in your shoes in your corner, and that, how that's kind of helped you develop? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously Dirk, you know, uh, I was lucky enough to play with him one season. Uh, but, you know, the thing he has done for Dallas is unbelievable, not just obviously as a player, but as a person. Uh, he did a lot, so uh, that I think he should be a role model for every player in the league. And obviously having Jason, uh, he's, he's been in my shoes, so he know what's about. Uh, one of the best passers in the world, so, uh, you know, I'm lucky to listen to them. You and Kyrie uh, combined to score 23 points in the fourth, including, I believe, the last 13 of the game. A lot of two-man action down the stretch. Why do you think that is so much more effective this season than maybe it was last season? I mean, because we have preseason together. Uh, we could practice together, so uh, it's a lot easier than just coming here and don't have any practice and just get into the games. You know, When you have practice, the whole preseason to prepare is way easier. And how's it feel working with him? Do you guys, uh, is it like an intuitive thing or do you guys uh, talk beforehand uh, about what kind of plays you might do? Or? No, I think it's just what defense, defense gave, give us, you know. Uh, sometimes they're going to double him, sometimes they're going to double me. And if they don't double, you know, we just keep uh, everybody up and me or him go make a play. Luca, um, is there anything on your game that you wish you were better at at this point? Something that you're trying to be better on the court? Sure, everything. Everything overall? Everything. <laughs> trying to get better. Luca, eh, este año te vemos más físicamente mejor preparado que el año pasado. Este, ¿Qué hiciste para verte mejor este año a la temporada pasada? Bueno, eh, un poco sí, pero tampoco creo que... Mucha gente hablaba de que no estaba en forma, pero yo me sentía muy bien. Uh, uh, bueno, me siento un poco mejor ahora, pero no ha sido mucha diferencia. Gracias. 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 Gracias.